Hey, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slakey and Spencer Hughes on the Daybreak Show. You have probably seen around in the South Sound that the Community Foundation for South Puget Sound is uh, working through its fall appeals and it's time to give local 2020 to help celebrate our community giving. And this helps great organizations all throughout Thurston, Mason, and Lewis counties. On the Zoom call today, hear from Sound Learning, the Executive Director, Shannon Clasell. Shannon, how you doing? First off, I do want to also point out I am the President of the Board at Sound Learning. I'm very happy to be a, a, a member of the Board and the great work that Sound does. We're going to use this as a springboard to talk about the whole Give Local campaign, what the Community Foundation does in general. But I needed a nonprofit to kind of talk about so why <laughs> not bring are. sound learning into the mix how you doing shannon i'm doing okay jeff thanks yeah We've, it's We're been a, a rough year for sound learning and nonprofits in general yeah. so why don't you give just yes. a little update on how we've kind of navigated the covid <laughs> conditions over the last few months well it's been a little bit like if anybody's ever done that taking a boat through deception pass when the tide is changing it's like this and it's not, and it's crazy. Um, but for, for a lot of organizations, nonprofits in particular, because all of our guidelines are different and they're, they're, it's not like, just like everybody's doing this. So uh, back in March, you know, shutdown happened and uh, we went from an organization that did work face-to-face -face primarily with some, you know, uh, elect, you know uh, technology as backup to an organization that had to do everything remotely or distance and our amazing staff. And this is um, in two, two and a half weeks had developed a whole range of programming so that it was equitable and accessible to people, whether they had a computer and internet at home or if all they had was their cell phone or if they even didn't have that, they were able to continue their studies in, in a whole range of different ways. And uh, I have to give a shout out to all the other community-based organizations in the state. There's six of us still who do this kind of work. Um, uh, they've all stepped up in different ways to do the same kind of thing. Um, so that's wonderful. And then in the summer, because of phase two, we were able to start meeting with students face-to-face -face again, but in a very limited way. So it's been a hybrid uh, using the technology or delivering packets, you know, mailing them work to do at home and talking to them over the phone about it or however that was, was also giving each student a chance to have one session a week where they got to work with their instructor in person. Now, and, and we were doing just fine. And then Monday, yep. Sunday, everything changed again. So we're still a little unclear about how, again, we're not class technically is higher education, so exempt, and we're kind of a professional services, but we're also a nonprofit. So we're working on keeping the ability to do some one-to-one -one that we do have the right to do with students for testing and um, training that they can't get online. And it's, then that's it. It's yeah. just been, I mean, for all the nonprofits around the community, we yeah. they've all- Everybody had these unique Everybody. challenges they've had yeah. to work through. Talk to me a little bit about the yeah. partnership that you have and that you understand most nonprofits to have with the Community Foundation, a great group of people yeah. Yeah. that do yeah. a lot. Community Foundation of South Puget Sound is an amazing organization. They, they um, are sort of a clearinghouse, a gathering place for all sorts of uh, foundations, smaller and larger, that want to, you know, uh, contribute to the nonprofit in a particular area. And so their expertise is the South Puget Sound uh, region, although, you know, they people know about them from far near and far. And so they're supportive of all of the nonprofits, whether it's a one person operation or a large one. And every year uh, they put on um, a give local campaign which is South Puget Sound centric, um, as opposed to Giving Tuesday, which is up in King County and you know that kind of thing. Yeah. Today's Wednesday, it's a Giving yeah. Wednesday. It's a special day yeah. in the life of this fundraiser that's happening yeah. now. So first I yeah. do wanna point out the website, S 
psgives.org. I'll put the link in the show notes as well. This goes to the main page here, and then you can do yeah. searches for any of your favorite nonprofits, yeah. including Sound Learning. It'll pop up there. So yeah. now talk about a little bit the different ways that t- today is unique and then how the, the rest of the process is going to go right. for everybody. So um, today is Giving Wednesday. So anybody who donates on Wednesday, um, no matter if you donate $5 or $100 or $1,000, doesn't matter, um, your name gets put in a, in a pot, let's say, put in a hat, a virtual hat, and there's a drawing done, and the person who is drawn, who wins, um, is granted another donation that they can designate to any one of the nonprofits that they're interested in donating to. Okay. And I'm sorry, I can't say how much it is. Last year, it was $100. So I'm assuming it's probably that now, but I couldn't find the details this morning. Well, every, every little bit helps. I mean, But it amplifies it. The other thing that they do with that um, Community Foundation does with Sound Learning, which is another reason to have this be a platform that you do a, your donation through or a year-end donation, is that at the end of the process, they take a look at how much money each, in, each organization um, was given and they, uh, they give a portion of a huge grant that they've been ha- given to put, put aside to match that at a certain percentage. Wow. So yeah, so you get extra money just for having participated um, in, you know, and depending on the level you participate, you get a little bit more, a little bit less, but every little penny counts. Give local ends on Friday. This, this coming Friday is the last day the other thing people can do, because on Give Local, you can donate online with your credit card. And the wonderful thing, again, that the Community Foundation is making happen is that all credit card fees, all processing fees, are being matched by another pot of money. So every dime that an individual donates goes to the organization that they're donating to. We'll put the links to how to get to this, of course, at spsgives.org. I'll also throw in the direct link to the sound learning one, just so you can learn a little bit more about what we do. And it's uh, already, as of when we're talking about this, almost 2,000 gifts have been donated and close to a quarter million dollars has been raised already. Uh, So great folks out there helping these great nonprofits. On the air. Shannon, good to talk with you. And I know it's been a struggle for us, and I can only imagine the struggle for all the other nonprofits across the South Sound over the year. You know, the wonderful thing about most of our nonprofits are that everybody just decides, okay, we're going to step up, we're going to do things different, and we're going to get it done. Yeah. And um, that's really inspiring to me as I've been, you know, in contact with these people. Now's the time to give and especially today with the opportunity to maybe win a little extra prize for one of those nonprofits, spsgives.org. You can search for Sound Learning or one of the many other great uh, nonprofits in our community that are doing a lot of good. And uh, Sound Learning is online at soundlearning.co. Check check us out as well. Shannon, good to see you. Thank uh, you. And we'll continue to spread the good word of sound learning, I guess. Ben, thank you very much. It's great to see you, Jeff.